it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Mazda 3 and its 12 speaker Bose audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, input speaker, uh, audio controls, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Then we're going to go out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. Here you can hear member requested tracks. We're actually doing a members only sound test on this car so you can hear some more uh, new music, if you will, because I know we've already reviewed the Mazda 3 before, but this is kind of a refresher. And if you do want to see unique songs, sign up to become a member. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. Rocking my favorite color, Soul Red Crystal, the Mazda 3 hatch. This one's the Top Dog Turbo model, so not exactly a hot hatch, but a sporty-ish, luxurious hatchback without much rear seat room. This one coming in about $36,000, so definitely pricey for the class, but you're getting a really nice interior and a beautiful car. So if you do want to see more on the Mazda 3, check the links in the description. We've got all sorts of videos. And we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high-quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. No touchscreen interface, at least I don't, th yeah, you can't touch it, you gotta do everything through this rotary knob right here, but we're already in the sound setting, or sound menu, so let's hit menu and go down to audio settings. You see you've got adjustments for bass and treble, let's go through those. Below that, you've got adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. There's a Bose stereo mode. For some reason, I can't adjust it. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because of my audio input. Bose center point adjustments, so it creates a virtual surround sound listening experience. You can adjust those in different settings. Let's see, let's go off. Oh, there's the stereo mode adjustment. Now in theory with center point off that should give you the most true to recording sound but some people have their preferences and certain songs they want it to sound a little different. Let's go between standard and linear here. Oh, sounds song's about to end. Let's go to the next song. So in theory, linear should sound a little bit more in front of you. Standard should be a little bit more around you. But let's see, once the song gets going we'll toggle back and forth. Other than that, you've got Audio Pilot, which will compensate for road noise and wind noise as you get going faster. We're going to leave that off. I kind of prefer the sound of standard. The music seems a little bit more full that way, but we're gonna do most of the testing in that standard with center point off, but maybe we'll bounce around between some of them, especially in the members only test. For audio controls in the Mazda 3, you've got a volume knob right down here in a very convenient spot next to the rotary knob. You've also got volume on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, I like this. You can actually move the rotary knob back and forth. We tested an Audi A3 recently, and it had a, a scroller uh, adjustment, if you will, for volume, and I much prefer having a knob like this, and then you can just kind of joystick the knob back and forth to adjust tracks. You can also adjust tracks from the screen here, can you? Yeah, you can sort of choose them by scrolling, and then the left side of the steering wheel as well, you've got seek buttons. Audio inputs in the Mazda 3 of your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. You have Pandora streaming, Bluetooth, and two USB-A ports, and that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? 
I'm sorry, you also have wireless car, you have wired CarPlay and Android Auto through those ports, but you're missing wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You're missing a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and USB type C's as well. Plus, I don't know of how many people necessarily use Pandora versus things like Spotify or Apple Music or Amazon Music. So I'm sure a certain number of people will be satisfied with Pandora, but probably not the majority. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 12 speaker system, which is pretty good for a car this size. Starting in the bottom left, you've got built-in speakers way down here, kind of doing some bass input. So that's one, two mid-range, three tweeter, four center up there, five, six, seven. Come on back. Come back, you've got eight, nine, and should have 10, 11 in the D pillars there, and then 12 subwoofer under the floor right there. Let's see if we can get another view at those D pillar speakers. There they are, right there. I guess those are technically C pillar, C pillar speakers. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demos. Let's start off with Apple CarPlay. Now let's see if we can use the top USB port. Earlier the top USB port wasn't working for my USB stick, but we'll see if it works for phone projection. There we go, CarPlay comes right up, takes up the whole screen. It is pretty far away though, you see here, from my driver's seating position, but it's a good resolution, and you do have to navigate things with the rotary knob. I'm gonna kinda scroll through, let's bring up, there's mapping there, YouTube music, coming up. You can scroll this knob pretty quickly, so it actually is pretty quick to navigate around things. Here's your settings screen, and your home. All right, how about Android Auto? I should also point out that it is nice that you can have the USB music playing and be using your phone projection. All right, Android Auto coming up, and it's actually the widescreen Android Auto, which is pretty cool. So you see on the right side there, we've got our music selection, and then the left has our maps. If we were to go over to the music app, YouTube Music, then it would flip-flop them and I'd have navigation on the right and YouTube Music on the left. I think it's a pretty cool setup for the cars that support it versus Apple CarPlay. I think it works pretty nice. And then you've got your home screen. Coming up, your list of apps. Come on. There we go. And we'll scroll down to settings. Okay, well let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
how good this system is. You, can, you start off at the beginning and you hear every sound that comes in, every new instrument comes in very crisp and strong and satisfying. Nothing comes through uh, lacking or overbearing. I mean, let's, let's, let's restart it. So right there you got your super high crisp highs coming right out of here. And then you're gonna get the bass guitar and it's gonna sound really good. Very, a little bit forward facing and just a very solid satisfying sound. So you got two, you got the high and the low. And then everything comes in, but it's not harsh. all the way up and see how it sounds. Thank you all so much for watching. I know a lot of people have watched the previous version of this test. Um, 
nothing really different with 2022. Just wanted to kind of reiterate that it's still great. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, 